There's a problem from the 2012 AP Calc AB exam. It's in the calculator section. No real need to go to the calculator. Can't really help at all here. What they present us with is they present us with a graph of F prime. So the graph of F prime, the derivative of F is shown in the figure above. The function F has a local maximum at X equals which of the following values. So the concern that I would have about a mistake within this problem would be looking at this graph and saying, hey, this graph has a local maximum right here. That maximum happens at the X value of negative one. That's clearly an option, choosing option B and, and moving on. You have to make sure you're aware of what you're looking at. You're looking at a graph of F prime right here. This is not a graph of F. Because this is a graph of F prime, we need to recognize that the sign of this graph tells us the slope of the graph of F. So F is going to have a negative slope on this stretch because the graph of F prime is negative on that stretch. The graph of F prime is also negative on the stretch that we see over here. So F is going to be negatively sloped or working its way downward, decreasing on this interval and on this interval. And then on the interval in between, where we see the positive values for the graph of F prime, we're going to have a positive slope on F. So it has to be true about F prime in order for F to have a local maximum is F prime is going to have to change from positive to negative because when F prime does change from positive to negative, the graph of F goes from increasing to decreasing. That's where we have a local maximum. And in this case, the local maximum happens at the X value that's identified within the sign chart here for F prime at one. Looking at the graph, I guess I should probably talk about the connection between the graph and the sign chart. We have a negative Y value for the graph of F prime from negative infinity to negative two. We have a negative Y value or a negative sign for F prime from one onward to infinity, but in between negative two, that's definitely the wrong value there. This should be negative three. Sorry about that. Sorry, I didn't catch that till now. It's not gonna affect the answer, uh, but from negative three, to positive one, we have a positive value for the sine of F prime. So once again, F goes from increasing to decreasing only as we pass through the X value of one.